Hi everybody, I'm Margie. I'm from Homestead Window Treatments. I'm here today to talk a little bit about French doors. A lot of customers ask how I can dress my French doors and have privacy and light control. So I'm here today to discuss a few options. Uh, the first I'm going to get into is the traditional method, which I'm sure everybody has seen. It's um, called either a stretch panel or a, a double rod pocket curtain. And it is attached to the door with a single small rod at the top and rod at the bottom. The fabric is then pulled tight and shared together. And it lets all of that pretty light through the fabric and um, offers you a little bit of privacy. That can also be lined for a little more privacy. It could also be lined with a room darkening fabric for to block the light. That's the traditional way to cover your window with a piece of fabric. Um, and some people opt to put a little ruffle he header on the top. Um, that's also something more traditional, where today if you want to go a little cleaner, you can opt to not put that ruffle on there. Um, but again, that's a traditional way to cover windows. Uh, if you're looking for something a little more modern, the most popular option is the duet. That's because it has a low profile, um, meaning it doesn't protrude off of the door very far. It's got a small head rail, and the fabric will fit nicely right over your glass, and the rail is small at the bottom, which can fit behind most of the handles on your French door, um, allowing the fabric to pass behind it. Um, I do often recommend going cordless when you have a French door with a duet. Um, it's just a little easier to operate. Um, there are also options for pull-down brackets. Hunter Douglas makes a great little magnetic type that drills right to the bottom of the door. And this bottom rail here is, not, is metal, so clicks right to that magnet pull-down bracket, preventing the shade from swinging when you open the closed door. I often also recommend the top-down and bottom-up feature. This way, you can keep that bottom rail adhered to the door, and the top rail can operate, and you can get more light in, or maybe a little more of a view in, and still keep your privacy on a lower level. The top-down, bottom-up feature also allows you to not have to bend down to lift the shade up when you want to see out or when you want to get more light in. So you're just reaching usually close to shoulder level to operate your shade. So if you're looking for something a little more flowy and softer than a honeycomb shade, I also recommend the vignette, which comes in two ways. I prefer the stacking vignette for the French door because again, it has a smaller head rail and a lower profile. The vignette tends to be a little more fluffy, uh, meaning it does have these folds that come out. Um, so again, it doesn't sit flat against your door, but the overall effect is that it, it can go behind that handle and um, it can have that small head rail at the top. So this particular model happens to be on a motor. You can always motorize any of this shade. But you can notice when this is all rolled up that you do have a stack at the top. So you are going to lose a little portion of your glass at the top of the door. Unless we can go, we can mount it fairly high up on the door, but you just don't want to obstruct getting it too close to the top. Another product that I like for French doors is the Solera. It's made by Hunter Douglas. It's kind of like a cross between the vignette that we just saw and the honeycomb that we saw before that. Um, it's like a honeycomb because it has these sharp pleats. It's like a Roman because it does stack up Roman style with the bottom stack. Um, it's just a little more clean line looking than the vignette. Um, I also like it because when it stacks, it has a nice tight fold and your stack is always consistent no matter how long your window is. So on a French door, you have a long piece of glass that you're trying to cover, that means more fabric. It always maintains this height because the fabric just stacks forward. So a lot of customers will also ask for a blind that can louver rather than just fabric that moves up and down. Um, so there are a couple of choices with louvering blinds. Uh, the first would be a shutter where the shutter itself would have a frame around it, gets attached fully to the door. We would need to build out the shutter frame away from the door because you do need room for these louvers to pivot and turn. 
obviously if you go with a smaller lever, it doesn't have need doesn't need as much depth to maneuver. The frame is more built out than some of the other ones where it's giving you a little more room projecting away from the door. So shutters also come with a feature called a French door cutout, and that allows the handle to move and not get in the way of the shutter. So another louvering option is the Hunter Douglas Silhouette. This one has a roller in the head rail. So it will have a slightly bulkier profile than maybe the Duet or some of the other options that we've talked about. Um, but it is possible to put this on the door. Um, again, I always prefer cordless options. You don't have these cords hanging when the shade is rolled up. Um, but just to show you, this will sit relatively flat and will pass behind your doorknob. Again, you may want to guide this with your hand when you go behind that doorknob so it doesn't tug or rip the fabric. Um, this particular model operates on a pull cord, um, but you can see when this whole thing is rolled up that you're going to have a projection of you know, approximately three inches or so. Um, from the door, but other than that, it all rolls up and completely clears the, door, um, the glass. And also, you could use this to mount above the opening altogether. A lot of people opt to put the silhouette across both double doors um, and just roll the whole thing up out of view when they don't, you know, when they want to go out the door and they don't want to see it. So the last thing we're going to talk about today is a roller type shade. So just like the silhouette that has a roller in the top, um, roller shades also have the same roller, so it's got that little bigger profile. Again, that's just at the top. Roller shades tend to hang pretty flat and against the glass, so you still have your privacy and you can pass this bottom rail behind your handle. So this particular one is a banded shade, which is kind of cool, where you can raise and lower this, you're seeing through the shear and you can have privacy when the vein, veins are lined up appropriately. And again, this whole thing goes right into the head rail, so when you don't want to see, you're just left with the head rail at the top. Um, and then a regular roller shade is going to have just a, a flat, you know, texture design. Again, it rolls right up, same type of head rail that hides the roller. With the roller shades, you can opt to not have the head rail, which is a slightly smaller profile, but you will see the roll at the top. So that completes our discussion today on French doors. If you'd like to schedule an appointment with me, give us a call at the showroom, 631-423-5782, or send us a message on Facebook or Instagram.